Hello everybody, welcome to Norman Camera. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Taylor Swift Instax camera. Now what's special about this camera, it just has Taylor Swift written all over it. So if you're a fan, this is definitely something to collect. Shows the camera with Taylor Swift's signature on there. It shows what one of the photos may look like. Now or never in stacks with Taylor Swift's camera. And then just some of the information about the camera, warnings, whatnot. And then we have the front of the camera. I think this is really good packaging for this product. It's just a little pull tab that you lift up, flow out, but it looks like you get your information here, which includes an Instax mini warning, warranty information, how to join the Instax community and share your photos, and then how to unbox, and then a little manual guide for how to operate your new camera. And then also, We've got a Taylor Swift case. You get a special edition Taylor Swift camera strap. That's pretty nice. Instant cameras don't always have a rechargeable battery, so they actually include the CR2 batteries to power this Instax camera. Then also on the inside here, you get, it looks like flash filters, so then you can change the tone of your image a little bit. And right in there's the camera. Exciting, but oh wow, this actually looks fantastic. So far, impressions of this camera are super positive. It's a very well-built camera that looks great. So, a pretty streamlined unboxing experience with almost everything you need. It doesn't come with film, so you will have to pick up film. Not only did Fujifilm come out with a Taylor Swift camera, they also came out with Fujifilm Taylor Swift paper. These kind of go together. That's what I'm gonna use in the camera to test it out for a few photos. Power on the camera, see what it does. So first, the lens extends outward, and then it says that we're on automatic mode. And when you press the button, you switch through the modes up on the top. So when I go to press the camera, it flashes, and you'll hear that motorized sound which will push the film up. I'm gonna put film into the camera, so I'm gonna power it off. Nothing special with the box except for the boxing itself, and then you get the film right here. And it's just a standard cartridge. Then you want to open the compartment on the back of the camera. Using the color identifier here, you'll want to match it up with the small speck of color that's up here. And close it. The dark side has to come up before anything else. For the first photo, I'm just gonna take a photo of my feet with the leaves here. Okay. And then we'll see it print. And on the side that your photo will show up on, it says T-Swift, so quickly and carefully, I wanna put this photo into the container that it gives us, it fits in there pretty well. And now I'm just gonna go around and see the quality of the images, take a few more photos around and uh, just see what, what I could get. Okay. So now we'll have the selfie of me in selfie mode come up. Take this and put it into my little carrying case. Now we're gonna try macro mode. I'll do my shoe with the leaves down below. Okay. So now we're on landscape mode and I'm gonna try to take a big picture of this trailer behind me. I'm not gonna try to be in the image. What is cool is you could put it on a timer mode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detach this camera from the tripod, put on the Taylor Swift Instax camera, and then I'm gonna get, to get a picture of me in front of this trailer behind me. All these pretty leaves falling right now. So that worked pretty well for the timer mode. I think the timer mode was about 10 seconds long, so that's pretty good. 
Uh, gives you a lot of time to go run out in front of something to get an image. The light mode is here. Testing out dark mode. Automatic. Really leaning over myself to get this image, but I think that this will be just like a cute image that a lot of people would take if they have this camera. What's difficult about shooting with film is that you only have a limited number of film pieces until you're done for. And uh, now I'm gonna put it on selfie mode and try to get a picture with all the people in Norman camera. <laughs> so I have all of the photos that I took right here and I'm just gonna look at them. I don't. One thing that I should remind you about and myself about is that they're gonna be stylistic towards what a film camera of this type will look like. So it's don't look for resolution, just look for the feeling and the vibe of the time when you took it. Just gonna pile them out into my hand here. And the black film front with the Taylor Swift signature actually looks pretty cool. The first image looks good. Uh, definitely something that I would figure a lot of people would take looking down at their feet. It, it's not high resolution, but it's a good selfie. It kind of captures the moment. Uh, macro mode, this is definitely not how I thought it would be. I thought it would be much more focused than this. Maybe I was way too close, but that's how that looks. That's definitely a lot more area than I thought it was gonna cover. When I think of landscape, I think of photos that are like 16 by nine, like a rectangle. So when I see a square version of a landscape, it's a little bit, it's, it's not how I thought it would look. Uh, the double exposure, I wasn't prepared for this, but you've got the bark, then you've got the tree in the background, and then you've got the fence and whatnot in the background. So it kind of turned out how it should, but I just wasn't prepared to do that. So you've got the lighter mode, the darker mode, and then you've got the automatic mode. It's definitely just how they should be. Um, the blacks are a little bit blacker in the darker mode, the whites are a little bit lighter in the, in the lighter mode, and then in the automatic mode, everything is just kind of gently mixed together. Um, unless you're looking for really dark blacks, shoot the dark mode, and if you're looking for really bright whites, shoot the light mode. Just generally what I expected here. It looks like it focused on my pants more than it focused on the background, but that's fine. This is probably my favorite photo out of all of them just because of the leaves there. But then we've got the photo with the employees, which uh, is definitely gonna be a keepsake of mine. Definitely a cool camera, takes some good pictures, cool design on the body. If you are into Instax and you're a Taylor Swift fan, trade out that old body for a new one or sell the old body, get the new one. Um, it's not gonna be higher quality pictures, it's not gonna be anything other than the design of the camera itself. Um, it's a cool camera. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's what a instant camera should be and it, it's it's good at what it does. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to join the Norman Camera family, all you have to do is subscribe. Um, we do fun things like this with all the new cameras that come out, and now we're going to be working harder at bringing those new cameras a video when they come out. So you'll see some of the newest stuff as soon as it's available. Just like this Taylor Swift camera, this was really cool. I liked it, and we have them available now to buy. And I hope I can see you in the next video. Bye-bye.